Well, a student at Texas Christian University now fighting back after he was suspended over a series of controversial tweets. 19-year-old Harry Vincent was punished for slamming Islam, calling the Baltimore rioters criminals, and using a derogatory term to describe Mexicans. But Vincent claims that he's being punished for exercising his right to free speech, telling the Dallas Morning News this, quote, personal freedom allows a student to voice his opinion about the Baltimore riots. Personal freedom allows a student to speak about his opinion on the religion of Islam and ISIS. Personal freedom allows a student to critique the actions of the President of the United States. Leslie Marshall is a syndicated radio talk show host, and David Webb is a radio talk show host as well, and columnist for The Hill. Both are Fox News contributors. Thank you both for joining us. Good morning, Heather. Good morning, Heather. Good morning. So let's talk about this. Is this uh, an infringement on his free speech? Is that what this case boils down to, Leslie? Well, he has the right to say anything he wants, and he, the university, because it's a private university, also has the right to enforce their policies uh, regarding conduct of a student and to make a decision to suspend him, kick him out, do whatever they want. Because this is social media, it's one of those more gray areas. Uh, but although he does have a First Amendment right, they're a private university, and they can make policies as they have that he has to follow, and they feel that he has breached those. And, and David, let's talk about what the student handbook actually says there, because um, there's a discrepancy. It talks about uh, students and their right to free speech, but another says discrimination and harassment are incompatible mm -hmm. with TCU's mission. <laughs> The key there is it is a private university. It, it, it's just not an either or. You're for him or you're against him. For Harry Vincent, whoever told you life was fair, they lied. For Kelsey, the <laughs> aggrieved 19-year-old in Maryland, get over yourself. What we have here are two 19-year-olds having a schoolyard pissing match, which, frankly, because of social media, now goes off the schoolyard or off the campus quad and out to the public. TCU has a contradiction, but not really. They're private. They can choose, and when it goes public, it goes viral, and it maybe makes them look not the way they want to be. They're going to act, and they did. I think they, I definitely think they went too far. And on the other side of this, I think they also need to stand up for their students a little bit more, not just cave to the politically correct environment. So there's a lesson for both here, but there's a lesson for us watching, Heather, which is there are other issues that need to be taken on. Here we are talking about two 19-year-olds. We're in a politically correct environment where that becomes a big story. Mm -hmm. And with all due respect, this really isn't. We need the school is over the top. The students are over the top. And Kelsey, get over yourself. Your offense is not protected by the First Amendment. It's okay to be offended under the Constitution. Well, he said that he wasn't being racist, that he was, those were political opinions. Right. But and Leslie, hood rat I mean, is not a racist term, by the way. Hood rat's been used my entire life by someone to refer to someone who lives in the quote, hood, in some way or the other, jokingly or mm -hmm. otherwise. It's not always offensive. And he used that in reference to the Baltimore rioters. Leslie, I do want to talk about how this could be um, a bigger issue across the board. Uh, any decision in this, if Vincent decides to sue, which he's saying that he may do, um, first of all, does he have grounds for that? And second, how could that affect other cases that come up like this? Once again, because, uh, the, you know, this is online, uh, this is that gray area. I, I, th this won't get to court. He's not going to win in court. He doesn't stand a chance in court. And this is not me. These are legal uh, scholars who are saying this, basically, that are looking at cases like this. Uh, when, when it comes down to it, um, I, and, and he wasn't talking about hood rats, uh, David, with regard to uh, racist remarks or discriminatory remarks. It was his remarks against a religion of more than 1.6 billion people and a remark that I will not say on national television with regard to Mexicans. And yes, again, he has the right to say it. You know, Heather, my mother said, don't ever write anything down. You don't want the rest of the world to see. That's and the Bible advice. says that the tongue, the tongue is mightier than the sword. And here's an example. We know yes. people are losing jobs or don't get jobs because of what they post on social media. So the world, the university's big brother, whoever, is watching. And you would think and, that people uh, would know that by now. Lesson. Yeah, we keep reporting these incidents yeah. where the repercussions of what people are writing on social media, so just don't do it. We do want to take a look at what the school has to say about all this. They did issue a statement. Here it is. Texas Christian University's mission is to educate individuals to think and act as ethical leaders and responsible citizens in the global community. We are always disappointed when any member of our community fails to behave in a way that aligns with our mission. 
And looking at that, David, uh, you can say that Vincent, according to them and their opinion, did not do that. Yeah, look, they're entitled to their opinion as a private organization and to have a code of conduct, just like a company has a code of conduct. They went too far, however. They, this type of suspension, mm -hmm. only going to classes off campus, that is ridiculous. And that's where they went too far. But then again, in this politically correct environment where you're under attack, and God forbid, while he has the right to say it, he says something as he sees it against Islam or in some way, that's going to be magnified by the PC crowd out there. You know, we've gone beyond what should be just basically two kids on a schoolyard, 19 years old. You're not responsible in everything you do at 19. None of us were. I'm not excusing it, but come on. Speak let's deal yourself, with it. Perspective. David. I was a little more responsible. <laughs> All right. Uh, Leslie and David, thank you so much for joining us. We have to end it there. We appreciate it.